So you saw the title and clicked, so apparently you're aware I've got some trouble in paradise, right? I've got an issue with my mini doge miner. Uh, before we get to that, let me, let me just say that, hey, if you are new to the channel, uh, welcome. Let me say that first. Uh, my name's Ray. I like to buy crypto and like to buy stocks here on YouTube. So I kind of post my uh, post my experience and how I handle things and what I'm doing. So I'm going to show you how I'm handling this problem. So I've got a mini doge miner, right? So I've got the mini, mini shell or gold shell mini doge. So here is a picture of the gold shell mini doge. Now, I thought this was pretty cool, right? So I've been mining Dogecoin for the last couple of weeks. Uh, so this looks like a nice, nice gentle way to get into crypto mining. So, but check out this. This is the problem. I'm going to share my screen here. So here is, um, as, as I mentioned before, I've got other videos on this, but I've got a gold shell mini Doge, which mines Do Dogecoin, right? So I have it hooked up to a mining pool, which I'm using F2 pool. Now, this F2 pool shows me how much Dogecoin I'm mining, right? So I'm logged into my site here. Uh, so the mini Doge binds um, Litecoin and Dogecoin because it's on the same same script. So here's my Litecoin numbers, but check this out. So here's my mini Doge numbers. You can see, like, look right here, right? So I mined, this is how many Doge I'm mining a day. Basically seven, seven, then it went two, and then one, right? And that's because my Doge miner fell off my network, right? So I had to go back in and reset it. So, but I didn't see it right away, <laughs> right? So then, okay, I got it up and going again. So then I got seven, about seven, and then it fell off again, <laughs> right? So then I've got three and two. So this thing, it's, it's not really reliable. It's not staying on my network. So realistically, I'm getting about two, three days, and then it falls off the network. So I researched what the problem was, and so I'm making this video to help you if you're having this problem. Um, and hopefully to help myself, <laughs> right? So I'll tell you what, so if you have a gold shell mini doge miner, if you want to figure out where it is, if you go to gold shell, they have this thing called find your mini miner or find my gold shell miner. Uh, and then you can see here, if you have a, you, make sure as long as you're on the local network, you know, it shows you where it is, right? So it's right here and you can actually click on this and that will bring it up. So here's mine, right? So my miner's here. Um, so it's running right now, but you know, as you saw, it keeps falling off the network. So it's been online for a day, a day and five hours. So here's what I'm running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to update the firmware. So some of you might not exactly know how to do this, uh, because it's, you know, it's not just Microsoft windows, <laughs> right? Where you just click update. So, um, here it says I'm running firmware version 2.0.3. So what I'm going to do is, because I've been looking on forums and stuff, and it looks like it's just the firmware version. So I'm going to update the firmware. So hopefully it's going to help. So here, the way you do the firmware update is I'm back at the gold shell uh, page here, right? So you see support uh, here, after sale. How about that? Um, support. Oh, here we go. Support. <laughs> Let's click on it. Uh, software. So the mini miner, blah, blah, blah. Okay, software. So here is uh, whatever the software stuff. All firmware upgrades of, Dolch, of Gold Shell Miner. Get the latest version. Okay, sounds like a good idea. Okay, so here they are. So this is like a GitHub thing, right? So this is where they have, basically it's like drivers and that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm going to do the mini doge. So the thing is like, so I don't have a CK5, I don't have the CK box, I don't have the HSC3, I don't have the KD2, the KD5, blah, blah, blah. So I have the mini doge. So here we go. Mini doge. So this looks like this is the, um, 2.1.2, uh, updated last month. Well, that's good because I'm 2.0.3, right? So we are going to download this software and making sure mini doge. Can't show you the files that are too big right now. Okay. Download. I just clicked download. It's right here. Here. Show it the folder. This is actually in my downloads folder. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is this. So I downloaded the file. Go over here. And. I'm going to go to my, let's take a look at minor. Oh, let's take a look at system. Update, right? So I already unlocked the thing so I could move this a little faster because I forgot my password, <laughs> you know, I had to try a couple different ones. So anyway, so update the minor. 
Okay, browse. So I'm going to bring in my file. Okay, so there's my update. And I'm going to go ahead and update it. Okay, updating firmware to Miner. Firmware, firmware is being verified by Miner. So we just wait a few minutes here. Should I play my guitar while we wait? This is, I've got a uh, 57 vintage Strat. It's actually a reissue. <laughs> Fender Stratocaster. So it looks like it's updated now. Hey, that was perfect timing. Update finished, okay. <laughs> so here we go. Okay. Uh, gold shell, find my mini doge miner, right? So I'm going to redo this. Oh, see? Yep. <laughs> see, because it uses, what it does is it uses a dynamic IP address. So basically when it goes in, it creates, you know, an, an IP address. So it's not static. It's not the same all the time. So before I was on 0.108, now I'm on 0.103. So I can tell you that this is a really nice tool, this gold shell, um, find my gold shell miner. So go back to settings. Oh yeah, so right, so here, it looks like it's been like, um, so it's been resetted, right? or rebooted, or reset basically, right? So it's like when you get the whole thing new again. So the first thing that you do when you get one of these things is you get it over into English <laughs> because uh, Noah speak of the Chinese. Okay, so, we're on there. Go to our miner. Looks like it's got my pool settings on there. Tell you what, I'm going to jump over to F2 pool just to see if this thing's running. Oh, dude, it's running. <laughs> it's working already. I thought this was going to be a lot harder than it is. Well, I tell you what, you're going to be glad that it's not as hard as what you thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> right so i got my stuff set up looks like i'm set up right okay so you know i thought i was gonna have to restart the miner but i didn't have to so i'm here this is the home page um it's just up and running so you can see uh the here's the hash rate 190 ish or so mega hash so that's about right so these things are supposed to run about 185 or so so they fluctuate a little bit so that looks about right um over here, you can see firmware version. We're running 2.1.2. .2. You can see my little chart here is running okay. Um, so we've started back up again. So that's good. All right, I think we're good. I think we are fixed. I think the Dogecoin project is back on course. So if you are having some problems with your Dogecoin miner, um, I will put some links in the description so you can jump to those sites pretty easily um, to go ahead and I'll put the link for the uh, sort of find my gold shell thing on my on my network. And then also I'll put a link to the, um, to the GitHub site so you can get your uh, firmware upgrade. So you can try that. And I can tell you, man, I'm glad I got this done because my actually my Dogecoin mining project, um, I am about... I'm ready for phase two on this thing. So I've got another update on this project coming. Um, but, but let me ask you one thing. And that is, um, if you think you got any value out of this video, I would just simply ask you to give me a like, man. I'm a small channel and small channels like mine live and die on likes. So if you could give me a like, dude, that would be awesome. But also it lets me know that you're interested in the Dogecoin mining project. Because if you don't like this one and someone likes something else, I might be talking about something else you have no interest in at all. So if you give me a like, dude, again, that'd be awesome. And I can tell you, um, I, am, I have an update on this project coming. It's probably going to be, I don't know, one or two videos away. But it's coming up and it's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. So I'll tell you what, with that, I will put up a couple more videos you might want to check out and I will see you hopefully in one of those videos.